Great to have you guys. Thank you so much for being like this great audience for today's recital. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have this incredible young guitarist from Brazil, Otavio De Lucchi, who is playing an incredible program today. And this is part of like a tour that he's going to be playing here in the United States. Well, he lives here, but he's going to start, I think, tomorrow. He will go to Arkansas, Pennsylvania, and other places playing. I think the same program. And his last performance is gonna be at Carnegie Hall, May 9th. So, if you can please come, but you're catching him today. Thank you so much. I think, without further ado, Otavio, we're ready for you. Yay!
good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for everyone being here. It's such a pleasure to see many familiar faces and faces that I just got to know today earlier. So thank you so much for sharing your time with me. And I'm just going to talk briefly about the repertoire. I started with two pieces, a long one and a short one. I divided the repertoire of today's concert in three different parts. The first half of the program we're going to have, I divided between 19th century music, what you all just heard, listened to, uh, compositions from Dionisio Aguado Garcia and Luigi Legnani. And now I'm, we're going to go towards the, what is known as the class, canonical repertoire, traditional repertoire for the classical guitar, the Spanish repertoire, with two pieces by Joaquin Rodrigo. And I hope you enjoy. So we just, we just heard uh, Andante Rondó from Dionisio Aguado and the Caprice number no. 7 from Luigi Nayani. And I'm just going to do some order alterations. The next piece will be Sapateado by Joaquin Rodrigo, followed by Invocazione Danza. story about the next piece, Vocazione Danza. Uh, Joaquin Rodrigo is one of the most accomplished and important composers for the classical guitar and one of the most relevant Spanish composers in the entire 20th century and literally the entire one. He was born in 1901 and he passed away in 1999. And this piece won the Paris Composition Competition and the piece was born as a canonic and classical important already piece for the repertoire almost. And it's a homage to Manuel de Falla, other uh, Spanish composer from a generation earlier. 
and the fire also I, I, one of the things that I very much enjoy to tell about this piece is how we see the lineage about the influences from the composers. So on Vocación y Danza, Joaquín Rodrigo does this homage, beautiful homage to Mother Fire. The Fire has his only piece for solo guitar, he does his beautiful homage to DBC and so on. So we can hear some influences about like the Paris environment in the first years of the 20th century, but especially lots of the fire, lots of Spanish, Spanish traditional music here.
the second half of the program, uh, I'm suspicious to say, but that's what I do. And I'm just gonna change the order a little bit. I'm gonna pretty much invert. I'm gonna start with Astor Piazzalla's Verano Porteño, an arrangement by Sergio Assad, followed by John Luis, Prelo number four, and then Vicente Pascual Sonata. A little bit about those three works. Uh, I'm very happy to put those works since for like around three, four years. I started working with uh, Brazilian composers and premiering and commissioning pieces by him and that's how uh, fortunately I was able to meet Professor Luiz over there and I first met Professor Luiz premiering his problem number four this is the same, this very much the same one that you're gonna hear soon and for the Piazzolla it's a magnificent arrangement by Sergio Assad another like Brazilian composer, guitarist, performer from Du Assad. Uh, I was happy, lucky to meet Sergio as well in Brazil in 2016. Uh, I've, I've met him a couple times after that. But since I got, got to know this arrangement, for, he arranged all the four seasons. Uh, for those who, who don't know, Piazzolla wrote the four seasons, the Estaciones Porteñas. And Porteño is the word that refers to those who live or who are from Buenos Aires. So, Buenos Aires seasons or something like that. And I'm going to be playing the verão or the summer. And the last piece, the sonata by Vicente Pascual. Vicente is a composer from Rio de Janeiro. A young composer that recently published an entire album just with his, his, his compositions, his works. More than a, a hundred pages. And Vicente, after after got after he watched my my premiere of Joan's piece, Vicente came to me like, "Oh, would you like to premiere my sonata? It's the first sonata that I'm writing, and we like to premiere that." And since we started working, I, I can I believe I can say our work has been very uh, reflective and very we're getting very good results out of that. And he dedicated the piece for me. So the sonata is dedicated for me, and it's a three-movement work. It's an homage to Manuel Maria Ponce, a composer, a Mexican composer that spent many of, most of his time in Paris working with Andrew Segovia. And we can hear many of Ponce's influences, and we can hear quotes from many other works from 20th century, and I hope you like. So, from Astor Piazzolla, Verano Porteño, Prelude Number no. 4 by João Luiz and Sonata by Vicente Pascual.
The last piece, Sonata by Vicente Pascual, already said a few words about the sonata, so I'd like to thank you so much again for coming here, for spending your time, sharing this time to listen to some music, some 19th century, 20th century Spanish, and 20th, 21st century Brazilian guitar music. Uh, just like to invite everyone as well for some upcoming events. The, this recital, I like to thank a lot John for organizing as well because it's part of a series of the recitals that I've been playing that story like last month. I played in Philadelphia and Stony Brook, now here and this upcoming Saturday, Sunday, I'll be playing Arkansas. I never know, I think it's Arkansas <laughs> in Tennessee uh, as part of the Ebola Grand Prize with the winners we're gonna go on tour and we're gonna go back to new york next monday we're gonna play at nyu on monday at the carnegie hall on tuesday so i leave the invitation here for everyone thank you, thank you so much. and i hope everyone enjoy the recital and let's finish with vicente pascual not, not let's finish it seems like a, a bad word to use let's end this recital with vicente pascual sonata Oh, the sonata, just by the way, uh, for these new pieces, the Prelude Number no. 4 by João Luiz is published by Doberman Editions and is available at Guitar by Masters. It's a website that features many world guitarists and they, they record the piece, they have comments on the piece, you can listen to the composer, the performing, saying tips. So Prelude Number no. 4 is available by Guitar by Masters and the sonata is available at Brazilian Digital Guitar Archive. Acervo Brasileiro, Acervo Digital do Vilão Brasileiro, uh, is available there as part of the Santos Pascual book. And his soon, his, he'll be re releasing his website, his own personal website, just with the Sonata in particular, uh, soon. So it will be available online.
Thank you.